Hello everyone, welcome to online classes. Today we'll be discussing about the same topic that we discussed in the before class. Now let's start. Now let's recall the memories that we already discussed in our previous class. First, we'll be knowing about interior angles. You know what are interior angles? These are D, F, G and F are interior angles. And then what are exterior angles? Exterior angles are B, C, K, L. And the one question is how to find out whether the angles are interior angle or exterior angle. In that case, the angles that are inside the two parallel lines, inside, inside they are called interior, this and this, outside they are called exterior. Alternate angles, when it's forming Z like this, the two angles D and J are alternate whereas F and G are alternate. And then we come to the corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are C, J, F, L, B, G, D, K. That means one angle exterior whereas the other interior in case of corresponding angles. Then we come to the co-interior angles that is D and G. Remember when you add D and G we get 180 degree. Remember you have to remember this 180 degree. And then supplementary angle you know very well K plus L or J plus L that will be equal to how much 180 degree okay remember that thing now we come to the first workout example for today you see A B and C D R parallel lines though here it's not shown like this sign but in the question it's given now this angle 50 is equals to this x yes alternate angle and this angle equals to 30 that is alternate angle now when you add these two angles that will be equals to x yes or not so that means this angle name is g o q right g o q this angle so that means you can see here angle a g o a g o this angle equals to this angle g o q by alternate okay and then in the same way we can say that this angle is equals to this angle why alternate yes because p q and c d are parallel here we have to make p q parallel line with a b that we have that it's already here right and then we can find out the value of x that means 50 plus 30 this 50 plus 30 is equals to x now here we have already discussed this questions you can see you can do in different way like you can say that 105 this equals to this 105 vertically opposite angle and then 105 plus y 
equals to 180 degree go interior you know very well so in that way we can do this now the next workout example it's very important students now I said you need to remember that either in the question to be given like these two lines that means a B is parallel to D or in the question it will be given so here in the question it is given that means now here the Z formation you can see right then this angle and this angle are equal why because they are alternate angle because AB line is parallel to DE that means y equals to 40 or angle ACD is equals to CDE that is y equals to 40 now in the same way BCE this angle is equals to CED why because Z is forming you know very well right and then this is alternate angle where these two lines are parallel and the next one you can say that y or 40 plus z plus 60 equals to 180 this whole angle why because supplementary angle or what you can do z plus y plus x equals to 180 y because it is sum of angles of triangle so in this way you can find out the value of this y x and z okay now we come to the next one this one also is important remember students I already said before if in the question it is given like this the lines are parallel with each other otherwise it's not parallel and if it's not parallel we cannot write alternate or something else so in the question it is given here so the lines are not given here now what we do is here you can see the Z formation right and these two lines are parallel that means angle 55 is equals to a plus 40 why alternate angle isn't it so now a plus 40 equals to 55 now when we do that then we get a plus 40 equals to how much do we get 55 yes and then you know the process right a plus 40 equals to 55 then a equals to when 40 goes this side this plus will change into minus and it will be minus 40 that means a equals to 15 we got the value of a now what we do since these two lines are parallel these two angles are co-interior right that means angle B plus A or A plus B equals to 180 degree co-interior you know very well A plus B equals to 180 whereas we know the value of A that is 15 then we keep the value we substitute the value and this 15 will go this side changing the side changes the sign so that means when we subtract 180 with 15 we get 165 so the value of a and b we got it so you have any questions okay thank you see you in our next class